Who killed Katerina Hanziuk? This question loomed in many cities of Ukraine today, especially in her hometown of Kherson, where her friends attended the protests. We all gathered here today not only to honor the memory of Katya, but also to remind others that we are expecting some progress in the case. We want to know the answer to the question, who ordered the murder of Katya Ganzuk? The name of Katarina has become the name of the fight against those who fight activists, those who attempt to kill, intimidate or remove them from the public space. People in Poland came out to honor the memory of the Ukrainian activists as well. They gathered in front of the Ukrainian embassy in Warsaw. People know everything about this crime. It was in the media, it was broadcasted on TV. Poles are also looking at what is happening in Ukraine and expecting punishment for those who are guilty. On June 31, 2018, Katerina was a victim of an acid attack. She died from sustained injuries on November 4. Katerina Hanziuk was an advisor to the city's mayor. She was actively campaigning against deforestation and corruption. The investigation suspects that those might have been the reasons why she was killed. Five perpetrators and one organizer were arrested. They pleaded guilty and were sentenced to six and a half years in prison. But those who ordered the attack are still at large. The cases of the former head of Kherson City Council, Vladislav Manger, and Oleksiy Levin might be linked to the crime but are stalled. This is due to one of them fleeing from justice. <laughs> Regarding the case of Katarina, we still do not see defendants. We do not see a sentence for those who ordered this terrible and horrific murder. They poured a liter of acid on a 160 centimeter tall young woman with a fiery heart. The mother of Katarina Hanziuk received an award for her daughter on the anniversary of her death. I urge all the people who will hear me and all Ukrainians who want to live a better life to stop fighting for Katarina. She's gone. But it seems to me that she sacrificed her life to open our eyes, whom we vote for, whom we want to see in power, and how we want to live. International partners also express their condolences and hope that the case will be solved justly. Today we remember, sadly, the death of Katarina Hansuk, who died a year ago today. She was truly a woman of courage. She dedicated her life to Ukraine and she sacrificed for her country. We urge justice for Katrina uh, and her family. We remember her and we will continue to push for the kind of Ukraine that she gave her life for. Canadian Foreign Minister Christia Freeland tweeted on her page, quote, We pray for her family and loved ones. Those responsible for the murder must stand trial. British Ambassador to Ukraine Melinda Simmons wrote that she hopes the perpetrators will be brought to justice as soon as possible. She called the murder a terrible story of violence against a woman who fought against corruption. The European Commission and the French Embassy in Ukraine also expressed solidarity with Hanzuk's family. Reported by Inessa Zanina, UATV.